Alright, so I'll probably gonna do the last reaction video for today. Um This one is ten signs someone was trying to use you by the site to go. Now I had a lot of things I had a lot of people who use me as like a fake friend or fake relationship or anything. Cause um that's how mostly people doesn't like me. Hell in the whole world doesn't like me either, so that's only the problem. But um let's check it out in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hello Psych2Go Army and welcome back to another Psych2Go video. How can you tell if someone truly cares about you or if they're just trying to use you? Sometimes your emotions may cloud your judgment and blind you from the truth, even if it's been in front of you all along. Do you suspect that your friend, significant other, or family member might only be looking to take advantage of you? Well, we've got your back. Here are 10 warning signs someone is trying to use you. One, they do the bare minimum in your relationship. These friends will only do the occasional favor for you, and it's usually only small favors that don't inconvenience them or that they can benefit from as well. They do this to foster a sense of obligation in you towards them. Do they ask you to pay them back in some way or often in much greater value or effort? This kind of unfair treatment shows that they're only interested in what you can do for them and nothing else. Two, they're only nice at the beginning. Have you ever met someone who's only oh, nice to you when nice. you first meet them? Then they suddenly shift into being rude, detached, or disrespectful once you grow closer? People like this can act sweet and thoughtful whenever they need something from you, but quickly turn cold and uncaring once they get what they want. Three, they only see you when they feel like it. Is your friend always busy when you ask them to hang out, but when they ask you, they guilt trip you to drop everything for them? They're never there for you when you need them and they'll only reach out to you when they need something from you. As soon as something better comes along, they won't hesitate to ditch you. Four, there's an imbalance in the relationship. Does this person have a habit of exerting their dominance over you? Do they tell you what to do and decide everything for you? Watch out. An imbalance in the relationship could mean that this person is only looking to exploit you. They might force their plans, ideas or opinions on you without ever bothering to ask what you want or how you feel about something. Five, they intimidate you into agreeing with them. Has anyone threatened to break up with you, stop being friends with you, spread rumors about you, or spill your secrets to other people if you don't do what they say? These are some examples of power politics and tactics of intimidation that they might use to manipulate you into going along with whatever they want because as long as you're too scared to stand up to them, they can take whatever they want from you. Six, they act differently behind your back. Do you know anyone who acts differently behind your back? For example, they gossip about you and don't defend you when someone else is talking badly about you. They might be secretly jealous of your success and try to take the credit for your achievements. They might have you fooled into thinking you can trust them, but lurking beneath all that phony friendliness is malicious intent. Seven, they're not really interested in getting to know you. There's a lot you know about them, but they hardly remember even the most basic information about you, despite the fact that you've been friends with them or in a relationship with them for a while now. It just goes to show that they're not really interested in getting to know you and don't pay any attention. They only care about how they can benefit from being friends or in a relationship with you. Eight, they don't respect your boundaries. Do they dump all their problems on you and constantly ask you to do things for them, even if you're busy or you don't want to? Do they borrow your things but don't bother to take care of them or ask you for money and conveniently forget to pay you back? All of these things are definite red flags that tell you that this person has no respect for your boundaries and is already abusing your kindness. Nine, your relationship or friendship feels one-sided. Your relationship with this person is starting to feel very one-sided because you're the only one still making an effort. You call them up, you initiate conversations, you plan your get-togethers, you do them favors, and you buy them gifts on special occasions. But what are they doing? Nothing. They're unwilling to reciprocate your efforts or give you back as little as they can because they're happy with just receiving everything you have to give. And 10, 
They make you pay for everything. While this one seems obvious enough, we're often quick to excuse this kind of behavior when it's done by someone we care about. We might think they're just forgetful or irresponsible like that, and we help them out anyways. But no one enough is enough. There's no way they always manage to forget their wallet whenever you eat out or go to the movies together. It's time to accept the very real possibility that this person is using you for your money. Do any of these behaviors seem familiar to you? Do you have someone in your life who you fear might be trying to take advantage of you? Recognize the signs before it's too late. Keep your guard up against deceitful people and their malicious intentions, and don't be afraid to keep a healthy distance from them. Let them know you're onto them and that you don't appreciate being exploited. No one deserves to be treated so unfairly and it's not selfish of you to want what's best for yourself from time to time. You don't need that kind of conditional love and friendship in your life. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and comment below. See you in the next video and thanks for watching. Man, I need to pay off some. That's the only people about the manipulator people. Um, somehow, they doesn't take you that seriously to like, you know, pretend to be your friend. That's only the problem if they using you to get yourself in trouble or to like, you know, you know, they thought that I was a thief or somehow they just treat you like crap because I don't know man they always treat me like crap and I don't know why what their problem was maybe because they're jealous or maybe because you know they just not my type because I don't know man I feel like I don't know man I just feel like they've been using me as a bait, so, I mean, if they still gonna treat me like crap, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So, I have to say that I don't want to exist in this world no more. Or maybe if I would have cut myself on my wrist through the scar, maybe they would care less about me or don't because they got they they want me to just die anyway so yeah but i think that's gonna be it for today i will try to do more of them next time uh probably tomorrow on friday because um i don't know I mean, I have I have some very problems, and um, you know, but um, but I will try it again next time, hopefully. But um, yeah, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell for notification in case you miss it. And uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow on Friday. This is Tyler signing out. Peace.